Hey guys, it's Saturday and today I'm going to be going over my history as a DJ. 2017 is almost done, it's going to be 2018 in like two days. And I want to have you guys really know me as a person and what I was when I was back in Jamaica. The life I had, the many battles I've been in, my crew, my friends, the whole history of me being in music and being a DJ, alright? So get comfortable, I'm going to break everything down and we're going to go all the way back to 1982 when everything started, alright? And I'm going to give you the whole history on me from there all the way up to now. So get comfortable, kick your feet up, invite your friends over, and let's go enjoy this new vlog right here. I'm losing the sunlight, but I'm trying to see if I can use a little bit I got left. Let me break it down real quick. I started out in 1982, and why? I had an uncle that was in the Jamaican DJ scene. He was DJing on a sound system called the Grotto Swing. Then he had his own sound system called the Mothership Connection as well. Then I saw the Herbie Hancock performance back then on the Grammy Awards with all the robots and stuff. And I saw when DXT did the scratching stuff on Rocket, that special part that they do down in the breakdown part of Rocket. I did see that live, real time when it happened, because I was watching the Grammy Awards back then as well. And that was the first time I really saw scratching on a hole because my uncle was DJing but he was mixing. I never saw him scratch records, but he was always mixing. He had his vinyl and stuff, turntables and his mixer. And the funny thing is the mixer back then was so off. It was nothing like this. We couldn't even imagine this here. This was like beyond imagination for us. His mixer back then, had, it didn't have a crossfader. You had to go up and down. So you turn one side down, one side up. This didn't exist yet. Well, it, maybe it did, but we didn't have one on that mixer. And that was like, yeah, well, back in 82, going 81, 82, all right? And then I started collecting cassettes. I used to buy, I remember my first album I bought, I got my first job in 1989. And I went to this record shop, you know, area called Alfred Tree back in Jamaica. And I bought a cassette with it, an album. I think it was Snap, but I've got the power on it. I think that's the first album I ever bought. And then I started collecting cassettes, cassettes, cassettes. I started buying albums every week I got paid I would go to the shop the music store and I would buy cassettes because I didn't have turntables for myself but I had a tape deck and I would buy cassettes and then I would go home and I would get blanks I would record everything on the radio there was a station back home called Fame FM I would record everything man they used to have Patrick Lafayette his DJ on it Francois they used to do mix a minute I used to record everything and I would study the style music they play would record everything then at school when they had parties at school, I would DJ all the parties with all my bags of cassettes that I would save up. Then, there was a sound system in my area one night, they were doing a party, and they had all the reggae records, because you know, 45s back home, reggae, it's the home of the whole dance hall stuff back in Jamaica. And they wanted to play something else. And I remember that night, they didn't have any hip hop, R&B, none of that stuff. And I had a ton of cassettes back at the house. And I was like, yo, let me go get my bag and come back. Got my back in, back there, a tape deck, dual cassette deck, and I popped in my tape. And I remember the first time I dropped on um, the first single I played for them was um, Pump Up the Jam, Technotronics. That was hot back then. I played Technotronics Pump Up the Jam for them. That was way after my early beginnings back in the 80s. This was like coming up to the late 80s, 90s now. I played Pump Up the Jam for them and it was though the party the party went crazy then i dropped in i've got the power for them and before you know it, the owner of the sound system was like yo if you want to hang out with us when you want to be on the sound system you can do that and i'm like sure and eventually i sold all my cassettes because now i'm on a sound system i have access to turntables now so i, I can't play cassettes anymore i'm going to be playing vinyl sold my cassettes to a friend of mine stopped buying vinyl once again get my paycheck from work i would go to record shop no one started starting to collect 45s and stuff. Then we got into the whole scratching stuff. I'm talking like early 90s now. I remember one time I was at home, I went online, I saw the Invisible Scratch Pickles website back in the early 90s. The Qbert and them guys used to be in the, in the chat room. These stars, Crazy B from France and a couple of other DJs. And they used, to, you, they used to be announcing new scratches all the time, all the time. I remember once they were mentioned a scratch called a Sonic Flare, and I was like, God damn, I gotta learn that. And I was checking and check. I could never find out what a Sonic Flare is over the years, man. And I used to practice that like hell. Now, 5.30 p.m. Fall. 5.30, the sun's still up. It's almost gone. 
and I remember I used to practice a lot and eventually I met up with some guys back in Portmore a dude called Jet Li and a dude called um, DJ Chub Rock but he changed his name now to DJ Clutch and we started the crew and I actually introduced those guys to what crabs and flares and stuff was because all we knew before that was just the regular scribble stuff baby scratches and chops but I found out about the crabs and the flares and the orbits and all the scratch pickles guy, guys were, were, were scratching and dudes back in Jamaica never saw that stuff they never heard of it and in fact the people back home were not ready for that stuff and I introduced them to it I remember I, 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 I showed them a DMC tape and the funny thing on the A-Track 1 and they were like Jesus Christ we're gonna have to start over man and I remember I used to practice at their house I used to go down to where Chub Rock used to live and we had one mixer two 1200s and three dudes and we used to take turns and then we we burnt that new mark fader up so bad we had a small mixer that uses the old carbon faders back um, faders back then and we were buying faders like almost every week the fader was just ruined after we were done with it because we were all practicing and i remember back then when i started trying to do the new scratches i for some reason i could not do them in a regular format with the fader going left to right and i decided one day you know what let me try it in reverse i remember flipping the switch and putting it, in, putting it into Amster format and the minute I did that, started practicing everything just seemed natural all of a sudden I started crabbing and all that stuff and the whole time I was trying to do it the regular way because this is how I normally would scratch left to right but now I was doing over here, flip the switch and now I was doing it in reverse and all of a sudden everything just felt natural and for some reason until this day if you hit the switch and you put it back in the regular way where you go left and right I cannot do flares and all that stuff, I cannot do it at all in fact, I have to use the fader now in the hamster position all the time because for some reason it just feels unusual when I flip it back to the old way and it's funny how I've been doing that way for many years the minute we got to those new scratches it's like a renaissance for me my old style changed, it's like I'm a completely different DJ and the minute I took to that style, everything changed for me you now my scratching got better and then when we start playing out DJs were like, damn, these guys are going real far ahead and we, we, I remember we used to practice, there we go, the nights came on by itself, that's good, that's, that's part of the plus when you live in a smart home. And I remember we used to practice, we used to seek out every battle back home. And we would go, we went into some of the battles as representative for sound systems that we weren't even playing on. Dudes used to come to us and be like, yo, we're in a contest, we need you guys to play for us. And we would go there and we would kill it, win the contest, come home, and they were like, god damn, what are these dudes from Portmore, man? Because I was living in an area called Portmore in Jamaica and we used to just take over every battle, completely just destroy. Dudes never saw us coming but they didn't know we were practicing so hard and we were studying way beyond what they were doing. Because we wanted to study the stuff that Cuba and these styles and shortcuts. Shortcuts stuff we're doing online. Alright guys? And from there, eventually Jet Li migrated. Then eventually I came here. Chub Rock is still back home. And some of the DJs, I don't even know where they are right now. But I really miss them, man. Really miss them and I miss practicing every day because now I'm here by myself in West Palm Beach. I don't have the guys to push me anymore. I'm like, yo, let's get on the turntables. So I practice when I feel like it. But trust me, I miss the days when I used to practice a lot with them. And now in this day and age with all this new technology, if only we had this back then, who knows what we could have done with it. All right, guys? So if you notice, my lights came on. That's when you have the... Philips Hue bulbs and I have a timer on them to come on at sundown so once they're on you know the sun is officially gone it's sunset now all right so I'm gonna end the vlog right here guys this is unbelievable man I wonder how this is gonna look when I run the, fo the footage back but I'm gonna end the vlog right here as usual peace and salute from West Palm Beach and I'm out of here see you guys tomorrow on New Year's Eve and happy New Year's to everyone and I hope you see many many years to come Stay alive, stay strong, and keep watching, alright? Peace.